This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I want to cover another tweet by the real Laura B, who's been working pretty hard on this Johnny Depp case, of course, all on Johnny's side. Now, what happened was there was some fake news that got around involving a poem and concerning Winona Ryder also. So we're going to take a look at the fake news that got out, and it got squashed pretty quick. So, here we go. Here you can see one of the headlines. Giant Depp selling Winona Ryder poem as part of NFT collection. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really seem like something Johnny would do to sell a poem that Winona Ryder wrote to him and, you know, something publicly to do this. It sounds like, of course, yet again, another pathetic attempt at smearing his character. It's so hard to do, though, because honestly, if you know Johnny Depp at all, like, you know, he would not do that. I guess they're hoping to, you know, convince some people who just know the name Johnny Depp and they don't know anything about him at all. So they might see the headline be like, oh, that sucks of him. But you know what? If they knew that little about him, they probably wouldn't know much about Winona Ryder and him anyway. So it just seems like a really pathetic attempt. Here's some context. Amid early reports, Johnny Depp was selling a poem he penned for ex fiance Winona Ryder. Okay, excuse me. So one that he penned for her, not the other way around. As an NFT for charity, DailyMail.com has learned that the auction has now been canceled amid a hoax. Sources Tuesday told DailyMail.com that someone had impersonated the Hollywood actor leading to the cancellation. A person impersonating the actor arranged the ruse, sources said, fraudulently claiming that they were set to give away various items of depths including a signed photograph of the Pots of Caribbean star playing one his beloved guitars at France. Playing one of his, I guess they meant, beloved guitars at his villa in France. So it looks like the Daily Mail had to come out and say this whole thing was a hoax. You know, it didn't actually happen. It was in fact fake news. And I mean, it didn't even do good for anybody because we don't really know who did it. Whatever they were trying to do obviously had no effect. Now, I know it sometimes feels like there are so few people on Amber Heard's side and this is just one example of people who are on her side. I mean, hey, maybe, maybe not. It's a hoax against Johnny. Maybe it's got nothing to do with Amber Heard. But you've got to guess that somebody who would do this would not really be justice for Johnny. And I've also seen some Twitter accounts going around more recently. Some people mailed me, gave me messages, told me about them, how they're against Johnny. And, you know, the thing is, these accounts, these people who pull these hoaxes, they never seem to get any real traction. They never build up like tens of thousands subscribers or followers. I've seen a couple of Amber Heard's fan clubs on Twitter. I don't know, maybe hit around 2,500, maybe around 3,500. Some real lowball number like that. But if you take pretty much any YouTube channel or any serious Twitter account who's on Johnny Depp's side, they usually, you know, get 10 times the numbers of followers or subscribers or even 20, 30 times more than the accounts against Johnny. So that's a great thing to note. You guys, of course, let me know what you think about this one down below. Doing Depp vs. Heard, pop culture, stuff like that. Trying to get some more shout outs these days. I did a couple. We'll get there. And if you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.